again there YouTube. Uh, just thought I'd give you guys uh, a little bit of an update uh, on the solar. Um, we've had a little bit of a rewire recently uh, and some more panels. Um, today is the 19th of May 2013, um, so just getting into spring. Uh, Run you through the updates. As you guys can see here, we've still got our two grid tie inverters. This is within the garage. And we've still got our little meter here, showing what they're generating. Um, the main difference is we now have two completely independent circuits. We have circuit one, which is the uh, brown circuit here. And we then have circuit two, which is the green circuit. Um, reason I did this is originally I had both inverters sharing one feed and when I tested it I found that be, because they are MPPT instead of actually sharing the power between them um, effectively they, they, they were fighting with each other and causing uh, the voltage to, to not be what you want it to be. Um, we've also split it for another reason which uh, I will show you now just uh, when I head up to the roof. Okay, so we're up on the roof now. Um, first little update for you guys. As I said, we now have two dedicated circuits. Um, blue, uh, sorry, brown and the green. Um, as I said in my last video, we've now gone for slightly thicker cable, but on a separate circuit. So the original cable was four millimeter square. This cable is six millimeter square. Um, we do actually notice a bit of a difference in the power. Um, now the biggest change is these. So these are the original panels over here. So these are four 80 watt panels. And over here we now have an extra two 100 watt panels. Now I say 100 watts, um, the seller sold them to us as, as 100 watts and also the sticker on the back says 100 watts but quite frankly I'm not too sure because in terms of the dimensions and the number of uh, panels within them they are identical to our 80 watt panels um, we got them for a good price anyway so even if they are 80s then you know whatever it's a good price um, we paid about hundred pounds each for them um, which bearing in mind when we first started this project we were paying about 160 that's a lot cheaper um, now the real wire what we've done is we've got two of the 80 watt panels and one of the hundreds per circuit so each inverter has two 80s and a 100 in parallel giving uh, what was it 260 watts per inverter so if we look at this one here, only this one panel on this side of the frame is coming along this cable here. And then we've got our original junction boxes. And this is, I believe, the uh, green circuit. And then over here, we've got the other 100 watt panel on the frame. That's coming along this cable here to these 280 watt panels we've got a new set of junction boxes and this is the second circuit uh, I think I mixed up the colors when I was telling you but yeah effectively we've got one circuit which is green one circuit which is brown and it's marked all the way down so we can tell um, yeah, pretty much just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update um, at the moment we're seeing out of this system we're getting about 350 watts peak at the moment um, we reckon when the summer gets here we should get that up to about 400 watts um, I've also tested the inverters in the garage um, testing the power going into them versus what's coming out of them um, and I found that with those we're getting a 20% loss um, meaning that the inverters are about 80% efficient which while not the best 
Um, you know, I think the best on the market are around about 90%, maybe a little bit more. Um, for the price we paid, they're not doing too bad. So, yeah, that is now our current on-grid setup and plans to add another two panels as the summer progresses. Um, I figure we got room up here for maybe another four in total, but that'll probably be about it. Okay, uh, as usual, thanks for watching my videos and uh, any questions, feel free to ask.